There were lively scenes inside and outside the Senate this afternoon as Assembly members debated the dumping of mud from near the Hinkley Point nuclear power station to a site off the coast of Cardiff. Protesters against the plans gathered outside as an attempt by opposition parties to suspend the dumping failed. But a majority of members did back a proposal for more to be done to reassure the public. It's Catherine Hart-Jones. It's 4am Monday morning and protesters are about to head out into the Bristol Channel to keep an eye on a dredging boat dumping mud a mile off the coast. There's material being dumped out there. Um, we, we still don't really know what is in that material because they've not done the testing. The mud has come from the area around Hinkley Point Nuclear Power Station on the English side of the water and is part of the work going into its rebuilding. 300,000 tonnes of mud is expected to be dredged, moved and dumped at a site in the Severn Estuary. They started on the 10th of September and they're already halfway through. But questions about the safety of moving the mud has led to a legal challenge and a petition signed by thousands. You see the split hole there? Yeah. I'd like him to be considered the most public concern, and rightfully so. Um, whilst there are still unanswered questions, that would be the responsible thing to do. Protesters are worried that the mud contains nuclear and radioactive elements. The company behind Hinkley Point C insists there's nothing to fear. The sediment has all been thoroughly tested as, as part of our process. Um, the, the, the sediment we're disposing is safe and it's safe to do so and those independent tests that have been undertaken have shown that sediment to be safe. Uh, so there's no reason for anybody to be concerned about this. But there are questions about whether the tests go far enough. According to a report by the National Radiological Protection Board in the 90s, there is evidence that some nuclear discharge was leaked from Hinkley Point A into the waters surrounding it between 1964 and 1985. Some are concerned that the current tests wouldn't necessarily pick that up. Some of the scientists I've spoken to feel the levels are so small so as to be inconsequential, but others feel they should be tested for. Hello, Professor Barnum. It's Catherine from BBC Wales Live. How are you? Uh, great, thanks. Great to see the Cardiff Bay behind you. Why should we believe that there's uh, an issue of concern with the mud being dumped in Cardiff Bay? I'm now convinced that there are significant amounts of plutonium in the mud and that was not tested for before the, uh, the dumping started. Plutonium has been quoted quite a lot by campaigners. You can't prove that that doesn't exist in this sediment, can you? The, the sampling analysis that was done by the independent specialist does include those radionuclides, so that it will, they will give the, the full answer. Uh, so the mould is safe uh, for disposal and it has no impact on human health or the environment. Today, just a mile away from the dumping site, a motion to stop the process was debated in the Senev in Cardiff Bay. Natural Resources Wales granted the licence for the mud dumping back in July 2014, but pressure has been growing on the Welsh Government to step in and put a stop to it. The reason I cannot support the original motion today is because this licence has been granted lawfully, assessments have been carried out robustly, and the evidence has been assessed by experts and in line with international standards. The motion today was defeated and the dredging and dumping is set to continue. But for these campaigners, the fight isn't over. Well, we asked the Energy Secretary, Leslie Griffiths, and Natural Resources Wales to come on the programme tonight, but they declined. But joining us now from our Brighton studio is Andy Cundy, Professor of Environmental Radioactivity at the University of Southampton. And here with us in our studio, the Independent Assembly member, Neil McAvoy. Good evening, both. Good evening. Uh, Neil McAvoy, we saw you there Good campaigning. Mm -hmm. uh, you've given up on the court case. You've now lost the vote in, in, in the Senev. It's over, isn't it? Mm. And the stuff is safe. <laughs> God, it depends which scientists you speak to because... Um, we heard the eminent professor there uh, outline his concerns. I was contacted by uh, Dr. Lowry from Massachusetts, uh, European Environment Foundation, expressing concern after the debate today. He, could, he said he could barely believe his ears. And uh, every scientist I've spoken to has concerns. And they have simply not done the full suite of testing that they should have done. But the minister is saying that you're scaremongering the 
energy secretary said today that you know this isn't good this is whipping up concern amongst the public how do you respond to that well as an opposition member i'm doing my job in asking questions and representing people's concerns and if eminent scientists like professor barnum tell me that there could be plutonium in the mud then you simply have to te test for it and they've not done that they've done one kind of testing and as uh, the physicist, physicists say it, they wouldn't detect all the plutonium particles. Now, if the science community is saying that, then we have to take notice. Well, let's bring Andy in. Andy, in your opinion, good evening to you, by the way. Good evening. How safe is this mud? Good evening. Well, from the data I've seen, and I'll stress that I haven't been involved in this particular case, but I have watched the debate with a lot of interest, of course, and uh, I've worked in the Seven Estuary and Bristol Channel quite extensively. Um, from what I've seen and from what I know about the artificial radioactivity in this mud, I would argue that actually the artificial radioactivity makes a very, very small contribution to the overall radioactive dose that's received from the mud, and the bulk of it is indeed from, from natural sources. But why not have further testing if there are concerns at all? Why not just get the stuff tested properly to the depth, necessary depth, and the various type of testing so that concerns of people like Neil McAvoy would be allayed? I mean, that's a good point. I mean, I, I, w I would argue that the testing that's been carried out has been done by independent experts. It's been done rigorously and it follows international norms and protocols. Now, if you're asking a scientist whether he'd like more testing to be done, you know, of, of, of course, we always want more data. However, I would argue that the assessment that's been carried out to date is robust. However, um, and as the amendment that's been passed in the, in the Parliament today suggests, we have a need for more public communication to, to reassure the public. And actually, additional sampling could form part of that. Well, Neil, here in the yeah. studio, you're nodding your head. I've got a very sim simple question. Would you confirm that the full suite of testing available, the three types of testing quoted, were not done? W would, you, would you concede that? I would argue that the gamma spectrometry analysis that was done upon these samples actually will detect um, alpha-emitting uh, radionuclides such as americium-241, uh, which actually decays in from plutonium isotopes. So I would argue that that is, is a, a kind of broad level which will determine the overall radiological risk of the sediment in line with international yeah, norms. I would also technical argue, here. without, the, without getting too technical, it's clear that there's disagreement, mm. so the reasonable thing would be to test, mm. and, and, and but, that wasn't done. But isn't there some ideological opposition to nuclear here? Is that what's at the root of your opposition? If, if it was safe, you would back off, would you? I mean, is, is that, is that I, the end of the fight? Then? I, once I, you know it's safe. I, I, I really object to Wales becoming a dumping ground for England. Mm. And uh, I, I think it's just completely wrong. The, the, this whole dumping process has brought no benefit whatsoever in any way so just shape to be clear, or form to even Wales. if it was scientifically safe you would still object of course i would yeah okay well, why would you why would you accept 320,000 tons of your neighbor's rubbish it's ridiculous well on that we'll leave it thank you very much for coming in that's neil mcavoy and uh, in brighton uh, professor andy candy thank you very much